Hi, this is Pawan Sharma with Fire Global Support Services. This video is about how to configure user agents in Avaya Aura Session Border Controller for remote workers. So, what are user agents? User agent profiles can be created using what the endpoint sent in the user agent header. When these profiles are configured in subscriber flow, only phones that match that user agent will be allowed to send registration and other messages through the SBC. These are the steps we will go through during this video on how to configure the user agents in the SBC. So I have logged into EMS web interface. From here we need to go to global parameters, user agents. To add a new user agent click on add. The name can be anything descriptive. The regular expression value is important as this value should match the one which is being sent by the endpoint during the registration in the user agent header. If this value does not match the one which is sent in the user agent header, SBC would deny the registration of that endpoint. Once it is added, click on finish. Go to device specific setting, endpoint flows. Now we will assign the user agent to the subscriber flow which is already created for the remote work. Click on edit, user agent. This is the one which we have created in the last step. Click on next, finish. So this is the user agent that we have configured for the remote worker subscriber flow. SBC will match this value with any register message coming in. It will match the value of the user agent header and if it is matched then only SBC will process the register request. Let's see trace for registration of one of the endpoint. I have taken an example of Avaya 1x communicator. If we expand this register message coming from the endpoint, we could see the user agent header that is being sent by the endpoint during the registration. If this value doesn't match the previous value that we have configured in the user agent in SPC, SPC won't allow the registration of this endpoint. This completes the video demo. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, please write to mentor at .com or you can follow us at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.